take a moment and show you something that's pretty amazing here um, let me flip the camera around here so you can see it we are at the Georgia Guidestones um, these are four monolithic tablets that they have erected out in the middle of a field in a rural community in Georgia um, it is monitored by a uh, security system if you walk over here uh, you'll see that the site is monitored 24 hours a day seven days a week by an eye in the sky hey Lauren what's up sister um, right there is the camera and it watches this thing 24 7 and this is how big it is that's my son standing there um, and it was it's it's called the Georgia Guidestone it is a grand mon monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County Georgia in the United States a set of 10 guidelines inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages a shorter message inscribed at the top of the structure and four ancient language scripts um, the monument stands at approximate elevation of 750 feet above sea level about 90 miles east of Atlanta one slab stands at the center with four arrangements around it a capstone lies on the top of the five slabs which are astronomically aligned an additional stone tablet what set in the ground uh, a short distance to the west of the structure provides some notes that's this right here um, to the history and the purpose of the guidestone the structure is sometimes refers to as the american stonehenge the monument is 19 feet 3 inches tall and made from six granite slabs and it weighs 237,746 pounds in all in anonymity the guidestones authors and their apparent advocacy of the population control eugenics and internationalism have made the target of controversy and conspiracy theory here we go these are the eight rules for humanity it says to maintain and humility uh, maintain humanity under 500 million and perpetual balance with nature guide reproduction wisely improving fitness and diversity unite humanity with a long with a living new language, rural passion, faith, tradition, and all things with a tempered reason, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts, let all nations rule internationally, resolving the external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, speaking harmony, with the infinite be not a cancer on the earth leave room for nature and leave room uh leave room for nature that was so important that they wanted to say it twice hey guys to you uh swamp glenn hey bianca hey lauren we're uh this i don't know what these languages are um but over here, it'll it'll tell us. There's a uh, nice little uh, granite monument right here um, that tells you all about the Georgia Guidestones. It says the story of the Georgia Guidestones began in June 1979 when a stranger identified as Mr. Christian, later R.C. Christian, visited Joe H. Finley Sr., president of the Everton Granite Finish Com Finishing Company, Incorporated and indicated that he represented a group of loyal Americans living outside of the state of Georgia who wanted to build a monument focused on the themes of conservation. Mr. Christian, who had assumed this uh, this persuaded, persuaded him because he was a Christian named W.C. Martin, president of the Granite City Bank as intermediary to hold funds in escrow for the project, explaining that the Guidestone Group, which wished to remain anonymous forever, had selected Georgia because of its excellent granite, granite mild climate, and the heritage of this of his great grandmother as a native as a native Georgian. 
Christian agreed to the Martin's request to locate the monument in Elbert County if there were a suitable remote site for it, which they found on a hillside where I'm located. That is the highest point in Elbert County on a farm of Mildred and Wayne um, Mullenew. M-U-L-L-E-N-I-X, north of Elberton on Highway 77, Finley's company carved six-part monument from, pyra from Pyramid Blue Granite, the Georgia Capstone, measuring 19 and one-fourth feet in height at the highest peak. <coughs> the stone group measures 17 and one-third feet in width, and its diameter is 65 feet the overall weight of the 951 cubic feet of granite, again, is 237,746 pounds. The a ground marker, west of the guide zone, provides additional trans, uh, uh, data. Um, buried, the, it's, it's a time capsule. Each of the four sides of the capstones feature the statement of cautionary guidance to humankind, translated into Babylonian cuneiform, classical Greek, Sanskrit, and Egyptian hieroglyphics. Let these be guidestones to reason. Below, the guides, guidelines are carved into eight faces of the four outer stones, English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindu, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. In English, the guidestones specify the following, which we had went over earlier. In addition to these uh, conversations, messages, the monument displays a number of astronomical figures. The Gregorian guide, uh, the Georgia Guidestone Monument, in which is owned by Elbert County, was dedicated March 22nd, 1980, and has since remained a source of mystery and intrigue to its numerous visitors who uh, learn of it from afar. And this is the area all around us. It's kind of rural. I don't know what was going on. When we pulled up, there's all kinds of mystery behind this. But this is the part that gets kind of creepy. The lady that was here that I was talking to, I don't know what she believes, but she has some really different... I can tell, I just inferred from her that she has some different beliefs on things. And she said that when we pulled up, there was a black car parked down by the road and a guy in a nice suit was sitting there inside the car and we pulled up and there was a woman that got in her car and pulled away and she said when she seen us pull in she stopped and stared at us and uh, was looking at the license plate on our car and she asked this other lady that was here all kinds of strange questions about why was she here what brought her here um, so i don't know i think we're going to be on some kind of list now for just showing up at this site so if we never make it back to missouri um i'm sorry you'll just have to watch my old videos ain't they right beautiful look how pretty it is out here though it's beautiful it's nice but this is it folks i just wanted to take a few minutes and i wanted to show you the georgia guidestones if you ever find yourself in uh elberton uh georgia um you need to uh come out here and check this out if i uh had a way it would be cool to get in here and see what's underneath here it's got all kinds of uh all kinds of they say it's it's there's all kinds of stuff buried here like what i don't know i'm gonna have to look it up that lady was telling me a lot more stuff than i knew it's astronomically aligned, so it lines up with the stars. There's actually, if you look here, um, there's a there's a hole in here that this has been milled out so that you can actually see through it. Um, and they say that it aligns itself, that if you look through it at night, that apparently you align, the moon will line up with it at some point, or something i don't i don't know but the north star and right up there that's there's a capstone that's missing um there's supposed to be a there's supposed to be a um a stone there's a gentleman that got married out here and what he did is uh when he got married he actually engraved a uh he engraved a stone of his own and he brought it out here and he put numbers on it and he actually placed it 
up there. He placed it up there. Um, this, this, I've heard people say that this is laid out like a, um, um, it's, it's laid out like an ancient sacrificial altar, that that's actually a sacrificial slab up there. And then, um, on top of it, you can't see, but on top of it, they said that there's all kinds of stains on it, but it could just be from the rain or whatever, because you can see that there's stuff that's coming off the side of it. Um, there is a, a, a hole carved in the middle and traditionally in some there we go it's carved like that for some reason and then right up there right there there's a hole carved and it looks like it goes down into the granite but I'm not sure what the purpose is here it is right here there we go here we go this is it there you go. You can see through, and apparently that's where you can see the North Star. Then it'll line up with the North Star. So, I know that this isn't picking related, but it is history related. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have waited my whole life to come here. Here's the Hebrew. That's that's Hebrew. I, can, I can't read it, but I can tell. Um, that looks like Sanskrit, if I had to guess. That looks um, like Japanese. This would be uh, definitely Arabic. That's Arabic for sure. That's just easy to spot. They get real dotty with their letters. Of course, this is English. <clears throat> this is Russian. That's easy to see too, because if you've ever seen Russian, it's really really cool looking and i don't know what this is here this must be the greek spanish. or spanish yeah spanish so this is the greek then yeah the permitory uh a todas las naciones que se gobridian intermedian yeah there you go guys yeah. butchered that so let me get this turned around here. This is pretty much uh, your tour of the uh, Georgia Guidestones. I hope you appreciate the video. It's something a little bit unique. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this for my channel. I'm going to uh, do a lot of picking videos, but as a family, we're gonna spend a lot more time traveling and you're gonna see a lot more stuff like this too. It's not just gonna be picking related. It's not just gonna be the top 15 items that I sold for the month of uh, March or April. It's going to be uh, travel videos. We're gonna do videos of places that we go when we buy and sell. We're gonna try to reach a larger audience because we want to be interesting and relevant. We would love to build a really good following on YouTube and we think this is a really good way to do that. Um, so, <laughs> let me go through some of the comments here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, Bianco, it, 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 it Bianca, it is cool. Uh, I had, I had only heard of it because, um, um, I'm really big into conspiracy theories. I actually run a prepper board for about two, uh, about 20,000 people on Facebook. It's called Doomsday Preppers. If anyone wants to belong to it, you can find it. You can search for it on, on, uh, Facebook and I'll accept you into my group. But, um, uh, let's see else here. Yeah, uh, this could be, I bet you Jimmy Hoffa is buried right there that's that's where jimmy or he could be buried in the time capsule that that would be really cool too um yeah this is in the granite capital of the world that's what the sign said over there um my wife said this is the granite capital in the world oh that's awesome lauren yeah i'm glad that you're on board with me on this because i think it's just cooler i think that this kind of stuff uh adds to uh, the channel um and i think that this is the benefit of being your own boss people this is why we do this this is why you work hard this is why you spend countless hours doing research listing and learning how to be a uh better ebayer yeah 
he's in a swamp in the bayou down there. Actually, when we leave here, um, I got to keep this secret. Um, let me sneak over here on the side of the tablet. When we leave here, we're going to try to go south and we're going to hit, we're going to try to go into Florida and go to the beach and then we're going to cross over and <clears throat> go into either come up through Alabama or hit Louisiana and come back up and go back to Missouri. So we're just making a little bit more of a trip out of this. Um, we should have, I've been filming, uh, a lot of stuff. I haven't been going live, um, but anyways, I didn't want my kids to know because it's kind of a secret, so shh, don't tell them. But I appreciate you guys for watching today. If you ever find yourself in uh, Elberton County, Georgia, um, and you want to get on a list and have all kinds of creepy people ask you questions, because remember, right over there, eye in the sky, they're watching, they're watching, they want to make sure that this is safe because they've got a purpose. They've got an agenda. Appreciate you guys watching. If you would, like my channel. Give it a thumbs up real quick. I would appreciate you guys give me a thumbs up. Share this video. It's really cool. Um, it's really awesome. Look at that little deer killer or cure deal right there. He's cool. I bet he's got like some babies around here somewhere. He'll start screaming at me whenever I get too close. But like and share this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subbed. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You're not just people on the internet. You're my personal friends. And if you need anything from me, feel free to contact me through my Facebook page, Nevermore. The truth is out there.